This is Thursday, December 20th, uh, because people are beginning to scatter for home and, and who knows what uh, for the holiday. And holiday messages like this just before Christmas are supposed to be all upbeat and, uh, and full of thanks. And, and um, that will be next year. Um, I'm a fool for Christmas. I have been ever since a kid here in Boulder, Colorado. Uh, looking up at a at a uh, rope tow under lights out the window of our house and the uh, flat irons 3,000 feet above the town with snow plumes blowing off the top and Christmas has always been cool. Uh, they're different, you know, some of them are rich and some of them are poor. Uh, some of them you're drowning in stuff and sometimes you're worried about stuff. Uh, this one, uh, I, 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 I've struggled for 24 hours to calm down after the Fed's meeting yesterday uh, and the post-meeting statement and the appearance by the chairman and the uh, damned little dots indicating its intentions next year and also its updated forecast for next year and uh, I, I, I'm frustrated because I uh, this has not been a great time for national leadership uh, here or in many respects anywhere and the Fed has been one of the rocks for me. I'm a, I'm, I'm a Fed believer. Not, not an infallibility in any way, but just the idea of appointing wise people, now men and women, uh, to exercise their best judgment, especially to keep us out of mischief which we've created for ourselves. And yesterday they blew it so badly, the idiocy involved, at so many different levels is, is hard to describe, but uh, and the markets reacted accordingly. Uh, markets today are still unhappy, but some of that is slopping over from whether or not we're going to shut down the government and, and that end of stuff, but strictly the Fed stuff. The Fed raised the overnight cost of money from two and a quarter to two and a half. Okay, everybody knew that was coming. The Fed might have thought, you know, maybe we could give this a pause just to just to see what the economy is doing. Uh, the stock market entered a period of considerable instability a couple of months ago, and there isn't any need to push it over from behind, although the stock market's on its own. It's not the Fed's job to support the stock market. It's the Fed's job to do what it thinks that it needs to do. Well, here we sit at two and a half. In 15 months, the Fed has doubled the cost of money, gradually, but it's doubled. The, uh, we have cost of money higher than any place else in any other uh, advanced economy. And the, the reaction in the marketplace, stocks are not central. The bond market is central, long-term interest rates. When the Fed is asleep at the switch and we are entering an inflation problem, long-term rates go up. It's a signal to the Fed that they're behind the curve. On the other hand, when the Fed is busily tightening along, raising the short-term cost of money, and long-term rates start to go down, that's the signal to the Fed, to every central bank on earth, that, guys, you're overdoing it. You're either too much or too fast or in the wrong direction altogether, and it's time just to sit there and do nothing and see what happens. Two months ago, the yield on a 10-year Treasury note crested at 323. By yesterday morning, before the Fed's announcement, it was down to 282. Now, a 40-point drop in the 10-year, uh, guys might want to pay attention to that. Immediately after the Fed meeting broke and the new announcement, it fell to 277. Now, it's good news for Christmas to have mortgage rates pushing four and three quarters again, safely below five, but the price is too high. Now, what did the damage? The reason for the negative reaction was the Fed, in an oblivious, pig-headed, doctrine-determined, evidence-vacant decision, announced that further gradual hikes would, hikes would be necessary next year. And the GDP would slow from 3% growth down to low twos, but still we're going to have to hit you a couple more times. And that would get us from the low range of normal it said two and a half is. Uh, and we might have to go above normal. Yeah, that was the end of that. Uh, I don't understand. Uh, the marketplace doesn't understand. 
the bond record reaction is as violent as any I've seen in a long life. Uh, this is the most unfortunate uh, Fed tightening maneuver and statement, really, that I can remember. Uh, the Fed's made a lot more mistakes on the easy side, especially back in the 1970s. But <clears throat> Merry Christmas. Huddle around the tree with family. Uh, try not to watch the news, or do watch the news, and drink a lot. But have a very, very Merry Christmas. And we will regroup with more videos, uh, probably in about 10 days. Uh, I will publish my weekly newsletter tomorrow and next Friday. There's too much going on to take a week off over the holidays. Best to you all.